Hey, how's it going, guys and gals? Welcome back to another broadcast of the weekly with me, Neff. This article comes from Variety. It reads, Denis Villeneuve says Dune 3 is not like a trilogy and will be his last Dune movie. Other directors could take over, so I'm not closing the door on the franchise. Let's read a little more. Denis Villeneuve appeared on Vanity Fair's Little Gold Men podcast and stressed that an upcoming third Dune movie based on Frank Herbert's novel Dune Messiah is not being developed as the completion of a trilogy in his eyes. Legendary confirmed in April that development on Dune 3 was underway following the blockbuster success of Dune Part 2, which grossed $711 million worldwide earlier this year. And I must say, side note, my favorite movie of the year so far, my highest rated movie of the year so far. And to really summarize what's being said here, Denis just says that the first two movies were an adaptation of the first book. Let me read a little into it. It was really a pair of movies that would be the adaptation of the first book. That's done and that's finished. If I do a third one, which is in the writing process, it's not like a trilogy. It's strange to say that. But if I go back there, it's to do something that feels different and has its own identity. Dune Messiah is set 12 years after the events of the first Dune novel, so a film adaptation would likely have to age up Villeneuve's young cast that includes Timothy Shamala, Zendaya, Florence Pugh, and more. The director said, I know how to do that when asked how he plans to age up the cast, but did not share details of his plan. Villeneuve has long expressed interest in making a third Dune movie and has often said that it would mark his final outing in the franchise. Herbert's literary series continued for more novels and Villeneuve said he's comfortable with other directors taking over the franchise and so with that being said that basically sums up the rest of the article there is probably a paragraph left but I'm going to put the rest of that article in a link in the description if you guys want to read a little more Uh, just to kind of piggyback on what's really being said in this article it looks like Um, Denis Villeneuve is really only going to cover two books in Dune. I believe altogether there is six books. Guys, if you don't know too much about Dune, large history, obviously it's science fiction stuff, but a large history, I think there's six books total. So he's really only covering two books. That's a lot of information that's actually not being covered live action, but he's going to be covering obviously the first book, which is titled Dune and then Dune Messiah. He is not getting two children of Dune. Um, If you guys do know a lot about Dune, you will know that Paul Atreides story goes all the way from the first book to the third book, which is children of Dune. And then his son, Leto Atreides, the second takes over that's where his arc really starts so yeah i can understand why denis is focusing on these first two books it'd really be cool to see him try to tackle children of dune that's how you really end paul atreides story but it looks like he's just trying to leave out on a high note focusing on paul paul really is the big character for the first two books to be quite honest towards children of dune that's when he starts to fade out and it starts to transition As far as other directors may be coming in to finish up the rest of the books, I think it's going to take someone that is very passionate about Dune, and I think it's going to take someone that's just as passionate as Denis Villeneuve is, specifically when you get into those other books as far as after Paul Atreides is out of the picture. Going to be very interesting to see what happens. I I wonder if anybody even tries to even follow up Denis Villeneuve. He has set the bar pretty high. One thing about Dune that's pretty cool is the movies are such great quality. It's going to kind of suck to see them end off with this last film. It's been quite a cool ride seeing the first Dune, obviously, and then uh, Dune Part 2, and then they're going to be going into Messiah, which is going to be an interesting take on the rest of the story because I think really Dune Part 2, when I'm talking Dune Part 2, I'm talking about the cinematic Dune live adaptation that we've gotten recently this year. Uh, That's really the meat and potatoes movie. Like he said, this is really the war movie. So I think this third one, Messiah, is going to be more of a drama. Specifically, if you know details about that book, it's a lot different. Um, Not so much fighting going on, but obviously it's still in the world of Dune. There's a lot of things going on with Princess Shirolan. There's a lot of things going on with Chani and Paul himself in the Spacing Guild. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he wraps this thing up. He might feel the most pressure on this film, to be quite honest. I think he wants to wrap it up the correct way. There's a lot you got to kind of cover in this book, even though it is the shortest book out of the Paul Atreides trilogy, you could say. It's very interesting. So I'm very interested in this. I think it's going to be great. I think Denis is going to do a good job on this. 
going to be sad to see Dune go, but hopefully someone else picks it up that just has as much passion for it as Denis does, and maybe they can finish up the rest of the books. I think it would really be cool to see everything that happens after Children of Dune. I've actually talked to, to a few people about that, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what the future holds. Other than that, that's all I've got for this broadcast. Guys, comment down below how you feel about this being Denis Villeneuve's last Dune film. Let me know if you saw Dune Part 2 and if if you saw Dune Part 1. Also, feel free to talk about Dune history in the comments as well. We can have a great conversation about that. Like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, share with a friend, always share with a friend. And on top of that, guys, be safe. It is Neff signing off.